Our solar system is going three times faster than it should, a thousand kilometers per second faster than what the textbooks say. That's what a recent data analysis found. And it's a big deal because it's incompatible with how we think the universe works. How do we know how fast the solar system should go? And where are we going? Let's have a look. Physicists' best current theory for how the universe works has it that most of what's in the universe is weird stuff called dark matter and dark energy. These dark ingredients, which together make up 95% of all the matter and energy in the universe, are necessary to make the theory fit the data. That works, but it seems a little crazy, and in the past years this idea has begun to crumble at the edges. Maybe this new data will be the final nail in the coffin. The new data comes from radio telescopes and it measures the motion of Earth through space, kind of. Einstein taught us that speaking of motion in absolute terms is meaningless. We can only speak of motion relative to something else. On Earth, we usually talk about motion relative to the surface of Earth. In space, well, it's not so clear which relative motion is meaningful. One thing you can look at is the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang that fills the whole sky almost perfectly evenly. It looks a tiny bit hotter in one direction and cooler in the opposite direction. The hot cold pattern is basically a giant Doppler effect and from its size we can work out our speed relative to this radiation. From the microwave background we know that the solar system is moving at about 370 kilometers per second relative to this cosmic rest frame in a particular direction on the sky. That's roughly a thousand times faster than a passenger jet, but still less than 1% of the speed of light. We can also infer our motion from matter instead of radiation. Galaxy colors should be a little slightly shifted to the blue in one direction and a little bit shifted to the red in the opposite direction. If the standard model for the universe, the one with dark matter and dark energy, was right, then these two motions, the one we infer from the cosmic microwave background and the one we infer from the galaxies, should be the same. But the new study found they just aren't the same. The authors calculated our motion from what's called radio galaxies. These are galaxies with emissions in the long wavelength radio part of the electromagnetic spectrum, most of them billions of light years away. Now, for these radio sources, one can't measure the redshift, so instead they use a related effect that's called Doppler boosting. This effect makes radio galaxies that we move towards appear brighter and brighter galaxies are easier to see. So the authors take three large data sets for radio emissions and count how many sources they see in different directions on the sky. From this, they calculate our relative motion. And what they find is that our motion relative to these galaxies is 3.7 times faster than it should be. The direction is roughly compatible with that inferred from the microwave background. Still, that's a discrepancy with the standard cosmological model of 5.4 sigma, that's a very high statistical significance. So where are we going that quickly? The answer is, well, nowhere in particular. If we extrapolate this motion, it isn't going towards any known structure. It's not the great attractor. It's no known supercluster. It isn't even a void. The only thing I can reliably tell you is that we're going somewhere fast. If you still believe in the standard model of cosmology, then maybe this tells you that there is some dark stuff sitting around us that we haven't properly accounted for. Or maybe this model is entirely wrong. If the standard cosmological model is wrong, this could resolve the discrepancy simply because the motion of the radio galaxies doesn't have to agree with that of the cosmic microwave background. 
They basically decouple at the distances that this study looked at, so the problem disappears. This result is compatible with a study I told you about several years ago from the group of Zubir Zakar and collaborators. They did something similar with quasars, and they also found that we move too fast relative to the quasars. I give this paper a 1 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. I didn't find anything wrong with it, but I don't trust statistical significance estimates and astrophysics in general. This result from the Saka group has been mostly ignored, and I'm afraid that the same thing will happen to this new result. The issue today is still the same as it was then. It's not that astrophysicists dismiss the findings, it's that they can't agree on what a better theory for our universe should look like. It's kind of like the Australians voted in 1999 to keep the Queen of England the head of their state, not because they liked the Queen so much, but because they couldn't agree on who else should do the job. And that's why I'm pretty sure that, at least for now, the standard model of cosmology will remain on the throne. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Marvel, famous for its superhero comics, has teamed up with NordVPN to show how important internet safety is. Creative, entertaining and informative. I much enjoyed this. But let me tell you some more about NordVPN. It's an app that you install on your phone or laptop that routes your internet connection through a secure server. NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world and you can pick one where you like. This has multiple benefits. First of all, it keeps all your data safe, even on a public wireless. It also keeps you anonymous and hard to track online. And finally, if you run into troubles with websites that are blocked in some countries, you can switch to a different server in some other country and access the website from there. I've been using NordVPN for years. It's super user-friendly and I find it very convenient. It also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware tracking and malicious ads. NordVPN is a high quality product that works as advertised and I'm happy to recommend it. If you want to try it out yourself, use our link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine for our special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.